Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hey, what do you think's making all that damn noise? Mesa don't know! That thing was f huge. Tacos. Maximus back with another toy review and I'm doing something so massive it's gonna be done in the kitchen so you're gonna hear the birds in the background but this is the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. Now I found this at my local Target. I actually saw this about a month ago and passed on it and regretted it. Um, I was actually going to, as a bird fluff, I was actually going to uh, pick up the battle damage one. Uh, this is the one that you find at Target. There's a battle damage version at Walmart and uh, the price difference is $5. This is $54.99 and the Walmart one is $49. And uh, I, I, I didn't like the battle damage paint on it, so um, I opted for this one. I saw this one over at the Southport Target on the south side of Indianapolis, and I, I, I pulled the trigger and had to get it. I can't wait to compare this to, like, the giant size Godzilla. Love the sculpt and the paint um, off the bat. I wish it had a little bit more paint app to it, especially, like, in the nails right here. That's, that's a little disappointing, but uh, this looks like it could be a good custom piece, so um, I don't know. So it's obviously an open package. You can grab a hold of the thing right here. It's got the Jurassic World logo there. We got Chris Pratt, we got Blue. It says Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. And there's a kid going rawr right there. Uh, top of the package, it says uh, Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then side of the packaging, it's got the Jurassic World and the bars and all that kind of fun stuff right there. This side of the packaging, uh, same kind of thing. And then it's got like, fireballs coming down from the mountain, um, the volcano that's exploding in the film. Uh, back of the packaging, right here. So it says uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Jurassic World logo, shows the kid. I mean, this thing's huge. Uh, I believe it is uh, three feet long, and uh, it's eating little dinosaurs, so you can feed it little dinosaurs. Here are some of the other examples of the smaller dinosaurs that you can get, and I think it says it holds up to 22 of the smaller dinosaurs. You just uh, force it down the throat and there's a latch um, under its belly that you can uh, open it up, and uh, I'm presuming you could probably put like Marvel Legends figures in there. Um, so yeah, definitely cool. Looks like a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, get the Tyrannosaurus Rex out of package and see what we think. All right, so here we have the colossal, super colossal T-Rex out of package. And as you can see, there is assembly required. Um, and it comes with some instructions. I'm gonna come up close here. It's kind of funny because it says, hey, this is how you get the little uh, dinosaurs, the mini dinos out. It's literally pooping them. Um, it's got the assembly pieces, everything that goes there. It's interesting is it kind of shows here that the, in the original, uh, it looks like the bottom hatch was going to be a separate that you're going to have to mount. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess they changed that at some point. Let's just throw those instructions over there. And uh, let's go ahead and assemble our T Rex. All right, 
so here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex in package, and this thing is massive. Alright, so here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex assembled, and this thing is massive. Um, it is super long. It's every bit of three feet, I think. Um, very, very cool. It's uh, interesting. Um, it's, the body is a very hard, uh, almost brittle plastic. I don't care for that. Um, this feels like, especially the hatch underneath, feels like it's going to break over time. It's just going to get too brittle and break. Um, the tail is a soft, rubbery bit. Um, the leg is also kind of that hard plastic that the body is. Um, uh, the foot has a more rubber piece to it. This neck piece up here feels like it's got a plastic piece underneath, probably to house the tunnel to get things through, and then it's got a rubber bit over it. Um, and then the head uh, is made of a rubbery type of material, which is good. Um, the arms are a solid plastic, kind of feels like a Marvel Legend, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, overall, pretty decent. I'm liking it. Now, articulation points on this figure. The head obviously opens and closes. Um, you cannot get it to look up and down, which is highly unfortunate. I don't know why they didn't do that. That would have been an easy hinge joint up here. It looks like uh, the head should turn right here, but it does not. That is unfortunate. Um, the arms move up and down, and that is it. I would have liked to have seen some outside motion and maybe some motion articulation at the nails. They did not paint the nails, and I don't know why. That's an easy paint. Just paint it black. Um, very, very unfortunate. Uh, the legs uh, do rotate uh, up about that far. They go that far back. Um, the foot has a swivel at the bottom, uh, which is interesting. And then the tail piece here um, has a swing joint right here. Um, so it goes back and forth and it kind of goes up and down a little bit and that's really about it. All right, to show you how the uh, dino eating action works, I've got a uh, little Star Wars droid figure right here. We're going to open this up. Uh, you just basically put the thing in the mouth like this and down it goes. There's a hatch down here at the bottom. You just lift up and your action figure comes right out. Now, I will say um, I don't like this because it feels like it's going to break. Um, oh, look, there's dino damage down there. That's interesting. Um, I, I, don't, I don't particularly care for that. I think that feels cheap, which is very unfortunate. This is a $50 figure, and it shouldn't feel that cheap. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the sculpt design here. I think this looks phenomenal. Um, the paint works pretty well. They got these little flakes in there. I love the um, kind of brown uh, spray-on paint they've got going on there and the kind of reddish. Um, I like the detail in um, the flesh right here looks good. The teeth looks pretty decent. Um, there are claw marks, it looks like, all over the place. Um, just kind of scars uh, from just being a dinosaur, I guess. Uh, it's pretty decent. Let's kind of pull this here. You can see inside. I don't know how well you're going to see inside with the sunlight coming in. But it looks pretty decent. Definitely like it. Um, it's got a pretty gaping, if I can, uh, where's it at? Ooh, pretty gaping mouth, um, which is pretty cool. You can kind of see where the uh, action figures go down. So that's pretty nice. Um, Closing the head, uh, that's what it looks like all closed up. Looks pretty decent. Um, definitely digging the paint apps up on the head and the body. Um, I just wish that the head could rotate down a little bit more uh, to get it to look downright. You're really going to have to just kind of put the legs down like this, which, I mean, um, it's kind of the way he would walk. This would be more of an upright swallow, I guess, uh, type of pose. But overall, it looks really good. So looking at the detail on the body of the figure, again, sculpted really well. I like the paint apps, uh, minus the lack of paints on the toenails. That just is absolutely ridiculous. I can fix that with some black paint, but uh, I, it should be on there. I really want to do some black washing on this figure. Um, I, I may have to get another one just so I can customize it, uh, paint it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, overall, it looks pretty decent. Uh, just kind of a, a look at the back here. Uh, other side is pretty much the same. Now the legs are a little different. The sculpt work, let me flip it around. 
Um, over here you can see some claw marks in uh, the leg, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so they are different molds. That's nice. Um, back of the figure kind of like this. Uh, overall, it, it, it looks good. I like it. Um, the belly is a bit bland. Um, and again, it's that really hard plastic, kind of like that uh, Mega Kong figure. Um, and I wonder how long uh, it will last. It just feels like it's going to crack over time. All right, and finally looking at the legs of the figure, again, sculpted pretty well. Uh, it does have a joint right here, but the problem is when you twist it, I mean, it looks like you break his foot. It looks kind of weird and goofy. Um, it stands really well on the figure. I think I'd rather have had a knee joint rather than that ankle joint right there. Um, at least they painted the toenails black here. Um, sculpt work looks really good um, on both feet. We'll just spin it around so we can see the other foot. Um, but yeah, overall, I am definitely digging it. Uh, looking at the tail, um, it's got a lot of the little paint flex in the tail itself. Um, I like the swing motion. It kind of swings that way more than it does that way. Um, so you kind of get more of that sort of uh, tail pose um, than anything else. If I can get this into camera, I guess. So yeah, um, kind of interesting, kind of fun. But uh, yeah, overall, I think they did a good job. I mean, it stands, it's balanced, and it works. For comparison, here we have the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex next to the giant sized Godzilla, which is super dusty. And um, the giant sized Godzilla is longer than the T Rex. Um, let's see if I can get these things kind of side by side. Um, can't do this without <laughs> being in camera. Um, they are actually, looks like they're about the same length, uh, to be honest, uh, from tip to tip. But the, um, I don't know, the Tyrannosaur just looks a little bit bigger. Uh, I, I, I really think this one's got more um, plastic in it, to be honest. But they're both massive and uh, definitely kings of my toy collection. Here we have the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex with the Mega King Kong, the Walmart exclusive from Kong Skull Island, and this thing definitely outbeasts Kong. And here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex to uh, another dino, this time a Transformers uh, dino. We have him next to Trypticon, and um, Trypticon's got more plastic in him, I think, but the uh, T-Rex is definitely... Um, a lot longer. Um, it's not as bulky, but he is uh, definitely taller, I think. Well, if I actually set him upright, um, they might be about the same height. I think the T-Rex here is just a smidge bit uh, bigger. And finally, just to show you how big this thing is, here we have the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool, because, you know, Deadpool and T-Rexes. Um, and uh, I, I think this is to scale. I think this is a six-inch scale um, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is awesome! So is the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park, The Lost Kingdom, something that you want in your Jurassic Park collection? I'm going to say yes, because this is the biggest Jurassic Park, Jurassic World dinosaur that we have received. It is huge in length. Um, it looks amazing, especially from a distance. I do worry about the plastic cracking over time. I guess that will just be a time will tell. It could have used a bit more articulation and a little bit more paint apps. Um, really, if they just painted the uh, toenails on the arms, I would have been happy. But overall, I love the piece. I think I'm going to get the uh, Walmart version, and I may get another one just to paint it myself. So there it is, the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.